Well, here we have it. A concrete pad. I don't know what it is like. I don't know. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's some ladies out there that get all geeked out about this, but uh what is it about guys and it's like, hey, I've got concrete now. I don't know. But um anyways. It is interesting. I think that the the crew that did it, they I guess I wouldn't really call them unprofessional, but not professional. I mean, a couple of my tools that were sitting outside, they ended up using, and uh, and then I, I know one thing that gets me is when you're putting a, I mean, regardless if I was, I'm doing a two by six ball, but regardless if it were two by four, the the bottom plate is still an inch and a half so you'd think that these little anchors that they put in the concrete you'd at least have them two inches out of the concrete but instead here we are just measly not even an inch and a half or just an inch and a half I don't know. I guess I'll have to get one of my spade bits or a Forstner bit or something so that I can... Or I'll just forgo that one and put a different anchor in. They did, however, you know. At least they notched the doorway out. Barely. But it's, it's done. Uh, I mean... Yeah. It barely. Um, plenty of, uh, cuts, so that's nice. Give me a really nice drain. But, uh, so, yeah, very nice drain. Tapered well. I don't know if we can see on camera. So I got, I ended up getting the fiber concrete instead of regular and when they sealed it or something it's just I can feel the fibers and I was warned about that I was told not by these people this is these people said oh no it's a lot better but I, lots of people told me I'd probably have to go over it with a weed burner you know and burn off all those fibers so that it don't end up in my feet because I'm gonna walk on this barefoot and so are my pets and everything. But I don't know. Um, I don't know how much I want to uh, having another couple hundred dollars in it being sealed already that I necessarily want to burn it off. Exactly. So. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I guess we'll play that one by ear if it find up with a really nasty splinter or sliver or whatever you want to call it in my foot and my dogs can't handle it, then I'll just burn it off and if I need to reseal it, I need to reseal it. No big deal there, right? It's, uh, wait about seven to ten days, let her cure. And um, then I guess from there, start building walls. Yay. The fun begins. My fun begins. But uh, thanks for sticking with it. And you know, look forward to actually doing something I know how to do myself. And maybe getting a little bit more of a directional video rather than just an update video. For you guys so that's uh that's the update thanks for watching